Hi, welcome to Angie B's house. I'm Angie B, and today I am making tor chicken tortilla soup in my Instant Pot. So I thought I'd bring you along. Okay, um, the recipe that I have, uh, I'll put a link to that in the description box, and then I'll, I did make some modifications, so I'll include the changes and modifications that I made to the recipe as well. Now, um, it starts with one small green pepper. I also have one and a half pounds of raw, boneless, skinless chicken breast. I have one can of green chilies and diced tomatoes. One cup of frozen corn thawed. One can of black beans rinsed and drained. One medium onion. Uh, I did mince that. Um, my family doesn't like a uh, big onion chunks in their or big onion pieces in their food so I did go ahead and mince that oops sorry one diced jalapeno two cloves of minced garlic four cups of chicken broth um, you can use any chicken broth you want you can make homemade you can use uh, low sodium you can use organic uh, this just happens to be just low sodium chicken broth. Um, but, you know, if you do use regular strength chicken broth, uh, I would cut back on the salt that you put in, that we put in. And then I have also here 15 ounces of diced tomatoes. Um, these are fresh grown from my garden. Um, and then in here are the spices. I have one and a half teaspoons of cumin one and a half teaspoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of black pepper, and a half teaspoon of cilantro. So, let me go ahead and take you over to the Instant Pot and I'll show you how this comes together. Okay, the one thing I love about this recipe is that you just have to dump everything into the pot of the instant pot. Uh, I don't need to put the uh, rack in the bottom, uh, but I did go ahead and put the I did go ahead and put the chicken broth in. So let me go ahead and add the chicken next, and I'm going to use tongs so it doesn't splatter. Uh, my chicken is still partially frozen but that won't be a problem. Okay, and then I just start adding the corn. The onion. This was a really juicy onion. I was really surprised at how much liquid it had. Just good because two cans of chicken broth was a little short, so that made up the difference. And then the homegrown tomatoes, juice included, jalapeno, and I did de seed the jalapeno. Uh, if you want to make it a little hotter, you can include the seeds. Um, my green pepper. The garlic, the can of diced tomatoes and green chilies, the black beans, and finally all of the spices. Just dump it all in. And then just get a big spoon and stir it all up. Go ahead and make sure it's well mixed so the spices can be evenly distributed as well as the vegetables. And I did make this recipe once before and felt it needed just a little bit more flavor so that's why I did modify the original recipe. But again, that will be 
the link to that recipe will be in the description as well as how I changed it and modified it. Okay, all done with that. Let's put the lid on. Uh, make sure that it's in the vent, the sealed position. Okay, and then look at the recipe here real quick. Okay, it says to put it on manual setting for 15 minutes. So you push manual and you just up to 15 minutes. Um, it will take about 10 to 15 minutes for it to come to pressure, but uh, when the timer is up, um, you know, I'll let you know or I'll bring you back when the next for the next step when that timer is up. Okay, not sure if you can see this, but there's one minute left on the timer. So as soon as that minute is up, I will go ahead and quick release, uh, which is why I have the towel. Uh, so we'll just give it a minute here and wait for it to get done. Okay, as you can hear, the Instant Pot is done. So I will go ahead and do a quick release. Just want to make sure you put a towel over the top so you don't get burned from the steam. And you just turn the release. I'm going to turn the pot so it doesn't go underneath my counter. And we'll just wait for the steam to completely release. I'll bring you back when that's done. Okay, all the steam is released. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have. stir it up here. Now as you can see the chicken is still whole so your next step is to go ahead and get the chicken out and get it shredded. So let's do that real quick. There's just two pieces in here. There are big chicken breasts. And yes, these are clean tongs. Yeah, let's get this shredded. Make sure it's done as well. Oh yeah, definitely. gonna sit here and shred it and I'll bring you back when I'm done okay so I got the shred chicken all shredded I added it into the soup and let's go ahead and get some dished up and I'll show you what it looks like well there you have it all dished up I added a crushed tortilla chips some cheese and some sour cream so I hope you enjoy this video you try this recipe and I hope you enjoy it. Please let me know what you think. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a great day.